to Mia's life. Today, I've got an really, really, really exciting video, guys. I am doing another unicorn recipe, but guess what I'm going to be making? Here's a little clue. Some noodles, and I'm making a unicorn recipe. I wonder what I could be making. So excited because this recipe is literal magic. I was really surprised when I came across this recipe. I thought it was going to be quite complicated, but it's so, so, so super easy and it's only three ingredients. So all you need is a red cabbage, which you can just get from any normal grocery store, then a lemon, and then some noodles, which you can basically find anywhere. The best noodles that you can use for this is glass noodles because then it gives it a really shimmery, sort of magical look, but you can just use normal noodles. So I'm going to be using some normal noodles just because I feel like glass noodles is gonna be quite hard for you guys to find as well. But these are really easy to find. So that is literally all you need. And it doesn't really, this recipe doesn't even have measurements. It's just like how much you noodles you want is how many like, it's just as easy as that. So what we're going to do is we're going to get a chopping board and a knife. And now all you have to do is chop your red cabbage into little tiny chunks. Right guys, so here is all my magical unicorn -y cabbage chopped up. And the reason why I chop it up is just because this helps cabbage to release some of its magical unicorn -y properties. So now what we're going to do is get a saucepan and fill it up with water. Then pop your cabbage into the water and then boil your cabbage in water. And now we just have to wait for that to boil and for it to start working its magic. The only thing that I'm not looking forward to is that I'm wondering if it's like gonna stain my teeth purple. Right guys, my cabbage is now bubbling and boiling and the water is actually really, really, really purple. So that's a good sign because the like purple water and the juices from the cabbage is gonna stain the noodles purple. So now I'm going to be opening up my noodle pocket and then I'm just gonna boil my noodles as normal with the cabbage. And basically you just need to follow the instructions on the back of your noodle packet. So I'm gonna go put this over here into my cabbage oh wow guys it's already started to stain it purple this is amazing it's really really good so now guys all you have to do is wait for your noodles to finish boiling i'm honestly shocked about how well this is working it's already turning the noodles purple which is pretty cool right guys my do my noodles my noodles have finally finished boiling and look at them they are looking so purple, guys. I just need to drain them out right now. So I'm going to go and get my draining thing and pour out all this purple water. Oh my gosh, guys. This water is like so purple. The, the noodles are really purple as well, guys. It's really kind of like crazy how purple they are. So now what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and collect as much of the cabbage out of this. It's not in really important if there's still some cabbage left in, but you try and wanna get all of, as much of the cabbage out as possible. And then you can obviously use the cabbage for whatever you want. So I've separated my noodles and my cabbage now, and I've just got this bowl full of purple noodles. And you're probably thinking, yeah, well, that's pretty cool, but aren't unicorns supposed to be like purple and pink? Here's where the magic comes in. So what we're going to do is we're going to get another bowl and we're going to place half of this noodle mixture in here. So then half of it can be pink and half of it can be purple. And guys, this is such an amazing purple. Look at it, guys. But... We need to create pink in here. So what we're going to do is something so magical and unbelievable that it works. It just blows my mind, guys. I'm going to get a lemon and then here's 
the magic now. What we're going to do is on the mixture that you want to do pink, I'm gonna get up close and show you. We're just gonna squeeze the lemon on it and it's going to magically turn the noodles pink. I know it's so crazy, but just look at it, how gorgeous it is. It's an absolutely amazing pink. It looks so vibrant, guys. It's just like pinkest -y pink I've ever seen. So we're just gonna keep squeezing the, our noodles and then mixing them up until they're all completely vibrant pink and you can't see any purple. This is like really magical. I just don't get how it works. Like just suddenly, just squeezing some lemon on top of the purple just turns into this magical, most amazing pink. This is the pink. It's so vibrant and bright and so unicorny, guys. I mean, just look at it. It's so amazeable that this actually works. This is just like so crazy that you can actually just like get some red cabbage and then squeeze some lemon juice on top of the noodles and it just like turns into this magical, look, it even matches my earrings. It just turns into this magical, beautiful, vibrant pink, guys. Here is the purple and the purple is also so gorgeous and vibrant and then just the two of them together the two of them together just look so amazing I just, I just can't believe how gorgeous these look anyway guys so now we've got our two noodle colors we need to put them together and i'm going to put my noodles on a plate you can do whatever you want now you can just like eat them now or if you're like you want to make this really pretty what i'm going to do is i'm going to put them there purple noodles in a pile up here. Now I'm gonna grab my pink noodles. I'm gonna put them over here. Right guys, here it is. The most amazing, magical, the one and only unicorn noodles. I decided to add some little lemon slices and some of the old, some of the leftover cabbage, cabbage bits, just so then it looks proper instagram worthy talking about instagram time to take some pictures i mean of course if you're going to be making unicorn noodles you just have to take an instagram picture don't you this just looks so unbelievably amazeballs i just cannot get over how magical and unicorny it looks. I mean, just admire its beauty. Isn't this like the most unicorn-tastic thing you have ever seen in your whole entire life? It's the moment we've all been waiting for, the final taste test. The pink one's really, really good because it's like really lemony. The purple just tastes like normal noodles. So guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I hope that you found this like interesting and I hope that you guys try it because honestly guys, this is so, so, so amazeballs and so unicorny. It just blows my mind. Anyway, so I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye guys.